Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering by Sravan. In this video lecture, I will explain you how to do the orientation of the columns by using StatPro V8i software. So orientation of the column is very much important in order to distribute the loads evenly for the all the column members and B members which are presented in the structure. If you don't do the orientation of the columns, obviously the sum of the beams or columns are failed due to the presence of the high loading distribution resisted by limited number of the columns. So column orientation is must and important to make the model safe as per the uh, structural point of view. So in this video, I will cover you how to do the orientation of the columns uh, by using StatPro V8i software with the different variation of the angles. Like if you want to do the orientation for the 10 degree angle or 20 degree angle or 30 degree angle based on your assumption, you can consider that orientation of the angle based on the angle or else perpendicular orientation by using StatPro V8i software. And if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. And if you are not yet downloaded our application, Civil Engineering by Stavan application is available in the bill in the Google Play Store. Please download our application. The complete courses like StatPro, ETAB, SAP, 2000, Revert Architectural Software is available in our application. So download our application and try to utilize the offers which I am providing for the each and every courses. So let's start our video regarding the orientation of the column. For the orientation of the column, I was created some basic model related to the G plus four story building model, which is consisting of the 12 meter length and 12 meter width and height of the particular building is 15 meter. I am assuming here. Okay. So you can see this is the structure which I am assuming for this project. So I was not yet applied the any uh, beam sections, dimensions, column section dimensions for this project. So firstly, I will explain you the one method which is related to the perpendicular orientation method so that you can apply the same method for the uh, creation of the orientation of the column for the perpendicular uh, perpendicular orientation of the columns. And secondly, I will explain one second method which is very much important. Most of the engineers will use this particular method regarding the rotation of the column method. Okay. So firstly, I will create one column. Click on general option. So click on define option. Just I am selecting the rectangular pattern column. So here I am assuming rectangular column which is consisting of 0.69 cross 0.3 is the dimensions of the column. So again I am selecting beam which is consisting of 0.46 cross 0.3 in the same way in the first method of the uh, applying of the columns with the perpendicular orientation we had to create another column with the same dimension but we had to change the width to depth depth to width. Okay, so for this column, just we are considered depth of the column is 0.69. Instead of the depth, we will consider the width of the column as 0.69. And width just we have to consider it as 0.3. Now we can see we are created this. So click on the close option. Thickness option, just we will write here as 0.15. 0.15 which is nothing but 150 mm thickness. This is the beam. Firstly, I will apply the beam dimensions. For that, go to click on select option beams parallel to x condition system again go to select option beams parallel to z condition system assign to selected beams option assign option here yes option now after this we will apply the plate thickness go to select the plate thickness by using assign to view option assign option yes option and now we have to apply the column section basically for applying of the column sections we will select the beams parallel to y direction condition system but here in this case in the first method of the orientation of the column it is necessary to select all the beams which are having the horizontal orientation of the columns individually. Okay. Don't select the columns which is parallel to y direction condition system. Instead of y direction condition system, we will select the top view. For example, let us consider these columns are there. I need to apply the orientation for this particular column in 
horizontal direction for that we have to select this particular column so we have to select the property name and assign to selected beams assign option yes option you can see here the orientation of the horizontal orientation will be applied for this column now i will see this model in rendering view click on 3d rendering view now you can see this is the horizontal orientation having 0.69 dimensions and 0.3 dimensions okay if you want uh, i will show you the complete orientation of the particular column which are presented here uh, for this members stem selecting here this one as well as this one click on this rendering view now you can see this is the horizontal orientation again in the same process for the vertical orientation we will select the top view again again we will select the one more column which is having 0 0.3 plus 0 0.69 dimensions so we will select by using control option we will select the columns which are presented here 3 4 5 now we can see assign to selected beams assign option yes option now i will show you this in 3d rendering view now we can see this or orientation will be a vertical direction now we can see here okay this is the first method applying again we will apply for the some more column sections so this first method i will apply just i'm selecting here again i'm selecting here again i'm selecting here again i'm selecting here again i'm selecting here assign to selected beams assign yes option after that again i am selecting 0 0.3 class 0 0.69 go to select here go to select this again select this member this member this member as well as this member assign to selected beams option assign option yes option okay so plate thickness we are applied here now we will select the beams parallel to y direction so click on the 3d rendering view option we will see the orientation of that particular columns okay now we can see here the orientation of the columns which are presented for this member is horizontal for this member is vertical for this member is horizontal for this member is vertical i was forgetted to add the orientation for this columns so initially i will add the columns orientation go to select by missing attribute missing property go to select the general this time selecting this go to select by missing attribute missing property assign to selected beams assign yes option now i will select the beams parallel to y direction condition click on the orientation option now we can see this is the orientation which is applied for these members it is having horizontal orientation for these two members and vertical orientation for here this is horizontal orientation again this is vertical orientation now we can see here okay in this way you can apply the orientation by using first method this is the uh, general method and uh, conventional method but instead of this applying and selecting uh, it is take much time uh, because of that reason most of the people are uh, adopted second method which is related to the rotation of the column method so for that initially i am deleting this first column as well as this column also for the project okay now i will create one more column define option rectangular property which is having 0 0.69 and next one is 0 0.3 click on add button close option now i am selecting 0 0.69 plus 0 0.3 go to select option beams parallel to y direction assign to selected beams assign yes option here now we can see the orientation of the column is applied in horizontal direction now you can see here the orientation of the column is applied in horizontal direction instead of horizontal direction if you want the rotation of the columns about the 10 degrees or 20 degrees we can apply here so the columns which you want to apply the orientation or rotation initially we need to select those columns just i am selecting this particular column if you you can consider this this column is there this column is there this column is there as well as this column is there i need to rotate this particular columns into let us consider 30 degree rotation i am selecting here for that particular reason we have to select this beta angle option there is a beta angle option is there select here click on create beta angle let us consider angle of the rotation is 30 here let us take 30 so angle in degree click on ok option so that it will apply the orientation uh, sorry so that it will define the beta angle of 30 now we will select the columns which you want to rotate about the 30 degrees angle now i am selecting these columns this column as well as this column assign to selected beams option assign option yes option so that it will rotate the column to 30 degrees orientation so i will show you that uh, orientation also just i'm selecting this one this one this one this one this one sorry this one click on this rotation option now you can see 
this column was rotated about 30 degrees angle rotation here now you can see this is a 30 degrees angle rotation with respect to the x axis condition system in the same way if you wanted to edit this particular angle to some 50 degree rotation then it will change the 50 degree rotation to the particular section now i will show you this in again in 3d view now you can see this is a 50 degree rotation for this model in the same way you can rotate the angle based on your assumption by using uh, uh, by using StatPro V8i software okay click on the modeling option we will select this particular uh, columns go to general option here beta angle so we will delete this particular beta angle now we will uh, see the orientation whether it is applied the orientation or not so we will you can see there is no orientation which is applied for this particular column here okay so now for applying of the perpendicular orientation we have to select those particular uh, beta angle so beta angle create new beta angle instead of 30 degrees 40 degree we will select 90 degrees orientation click on ok select the 90 degrees by using control option we have to select this 1 2 3 4 and this is fifth one and this is 1 2 3 4 and this is a fifth one As I assign to selected beams assign yes option here ok now we will select go to select option beams parallel to y direction condition system so right click on this option click on the 3d rendering view ok now we can see this is the 3d rendering view for this particular project which is having horizontal orientation for the column and vertical orientation for the column and horizontal orientation for the column vertical orientation for the column again in the same process it is having horizontal orientation for the column in the same way you can do the orientation of the column for the different angles and different variations by using StatPro V8i software. So this is the complete process of doing the orientation of the columns by using StatPro V8i software by using two methods. One is conventional method. So we have to create the two columns which is having the perpendicular dimensions then first column and the second method is to rotation of the angle based on our assumed degrees ok so this is the complete process of doing the orientation of the column if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answers for that particular questions thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one thank you